There is something in the air when you walk into Target. I'm not kidding. I tend to lose all self-control and everything is an add to cart. Just kidding. I actually didn't go that crazy this time. I picked up some stuff for me, some stuff for baby, some random finds, some beauty finds. So let's just jump right into everything that I grabbed. I'll start with the clothes that I picked up. I did pretty good. I'm proud of myself. And you already know I had to try everything on in store too because we're just at that point of pregnancy. But I was very excited when I saw these two pants. They're both like different style of cargo pants from Wild Fable and the fit was surprisingly so good. I was very, very pleasantly surprised. Both of them have a stretchy waist and didn't seem to have a super high rise. So I figured like these could work and they absolutely do. Plus they didn't break the bank. This white pair was $32 and I love these. I love them. I love them so much. They have a little ties around the ankle so that you can make them tighter. Um, I think I might even be able to roll them. That's the only downside is I'm 5'2", so they are just a smidge long. They're fine when I use the ties to like tighten them around the ankle, um, but just as is, they're a little bit long. But I was able to do a size small and they fit great in the waist. They do fit under the bump. Um, which I like and they are very cute, very comfortable. They have this little string detail on the waist, which I liked a lot. I thought that was cute. And then they have elastic in the back, which made them very stretchy. Um, they're just a light, comfy material. I don't even know what the material is, but I like it a lot. Like they're the perfect spring and summer type pant. And they're cargos, but I didn't feel like they were too overdone. Like they have just these pockets on the side here and a normal pocket up top, but that's it. I like more of a minimal cargo pant. I don't like anything that's too clunky, so to speak. So these are just such a cute pant. They come in a couple different colors, but I think the white was the only one that I could find a small in and I was in store. So I just went with these and grabbed them, but I do think they have a um, like olive green that I would love to get my hands on. I just need to look online, but very, very happy with these. I know I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of them and hopefully they will last me through the end of pregnancy. But I've mentioned this a couple times. I've also been thinking about postpartum and what I can wear after baby, um, especially with it being summer. And this was the pant that I feel like I will want to grab for, I'll want to put on, it will be comfy, it will fit. So that was a win-win. Then I grabbed this blue pair from Wild Fable and I think they just Describe these as more of like a parachute pant. I loved the color of these. I thought the color was so fun. I don't have any blues like this um, in my pant lineup. So I really wanted to grab them and they actually reminded me a lot of a pair that I wanted from Abercrombie. And Abercrombie has been sold out. Otherwise, I 1000% would have bought the Abercrombie pair because the bonus there is that they have the different length options. But with them being sold out, I saw these. These were a $30 find, so you can't really beat that. Um, and they fit really well. They're just a little long, but once again, they have um, like a little cinching at the ankle, so you can tighten them. You can kind of tuck them under, and then the length is great. Um, but just as is, they're definitely just a smidge long. Um, and this is kind of what the pant looks like without all of the cinching. I would love to be able to wear them this way, but I just don't know if it's going to happen for me in my 5'2 self. But if you're taller, these will be perfect. This waistband is a little bit lower, if I'm not mistaken, than the white pair. It's completely elastic all the way around. It has this little cinching, like drawstring detail that matches the detail at the cuff of the pants. I don't really feel like it's totally necessary, at least not for me, because I have the bump, so I fill the waist out pretty well, uh, but it sits great below the bump. Cute little detail. These are a little baggy, but I like the relaxed fit right now. It's just super comfortable. They just have one little side pocket, normal pockets up here, and then there's just like a little leg stitching detail. Um, it's minimal, I think it's pretty cute. And these come in a couple different colors too, but I know I'll get a lot of wear out of these. And once again, like they'll be a great postpartum option too. But I'm definitely in my yellow era. Literally got this yellow baby tee. I'm wearing yellow. I just got my nails done and they are a yellow French. <laughs> like I'm obsessed, clearly. But I picked this little baby tee up. Love the shade. It's yellow. It's just a super plain tee. I thought this could be cute with either of the cargo pants, honestly. And I would wear it with, I mean, a bunch of different 
pants, sweatpants, shorts that I already have too. This was $5. So, I mean, you really can't beat it. I did try it on in store. I got a size small and the small fit great. Another piece that I obviously can wear now and then can wear later after baby. So that's a plus. Like I really, 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 really have zero interest in buying things that I can only wear now and won't wear again. I know there's going to be like a handful of items in my closet that I've picked up over this pregnancy that maybe I won't wear after. Those will be going into a bin and saved for the next time I'm pregnant. But this is such a light, comfy material. There's quite a few different colors, but I have a lot of basic t-shirts. I just didn't have a yellow one. So it was a must, had to be added. And your girl cannot resist a cute graphic tee. I can't do it. I love them so much. I love the pink and orange together. And I do love Blink-182. So I was like, we need, we need this. I thought it would be such a fun, cute little summer shirt. So um, this was only $16.99. We love to see it. And I ended up getting an XL. I actually don't know if I even tried this on in store. I think I just grabbed the biggest size um, that they had because I knew I wanted this to be oversized and comfy with the bump. Um, so I went with an XL, just a basic little tee, not much to it, but I live in pieces like this, especially when I'm around the house. So I know that I'll be wearing this a lot over the next few months, probably well into fall too. And this is actually the last like clothing item that I got for myself. Kind of same, same in color as the t-shirt. I loved this orchid pink. That's what I'm calling it, yes, orchid pink. Um, it's just a zip up hoodie. It's really simple, not much to it. It's kind of plain, but it was more lightweight. It has a little light fleece lining inside, but it is not heavy at all. It is very, very thin. So I thought this could be perfect, once again, for spring and summer, lounging, being postpartum. Um, I really like zip up hoodies like this. I just find them to be super comfortable. I love having just a bralette tank top underneath, something like that. Um, so new, I would wear this a lot. It would go with sweatpants, leggings, sweat shorts. I know I'm gonna live in my sweat shorts. Anything like that. And the color was so cute. This was $30. Um, it doesn't have pockets or anything, not gonna lie. I feel like they probably could have bumped this down to 20 <laughs> just for the fact that it doesn't have pockets and like how thin it is. Uh, but it is a very, very cute find. They have this in so many different fun, um, like spring and summer colors. But this one was calling my name, so I had to go with the pink. I guess I'll move on to some of my beauty finds that I picked up. This used to be my holy grail, like absolute holy grail um, drugstore mascara. It's Maybelline's Colossal Big Shot, and I used to use this like every single day. I was obsessed with it. I obviously just like to try out a lot of things, so I haven't used this in so long. I like to get a uh, blackest black. So I picked this up, I need to open it up, I need to use it again, I'll probably try it out tomorrow. And I can't wait to see if I still love it. I have a feeling that I will, but this used to just give me the longest, fullest, thickest looking lashes ever. Um, and I swear by this for the longest time. It's also, I mean, it's drugstore, so it's a great, great price point um so i'll report back but this has never failed me in the past so hopefully it doesn't fail me now another little drugstore beauty find that i have been without for quite some time and i was looking back at some of my old makeup videos as i love to do and i was like my brows look phenomenal what was i using and it was this it's the covergirl micro fine and define brow pencil in honey brown i love this my brows always look like 13 out of 10 anytime i use this this sounds so dumb but um back in august i did a brow lamination for the first time and that lasted me about seven or eight weeks and then i went back around that time frame when i noticed it was starting to wear off i got another brow lamination and when your brows are laminated like i didn't really have to touch them at all I legitimately feel like I forgot how to fill in my brows and I've been trying to relearn all over. I don't have them laminated now. I am really overdue. I've been overdue for a brow lamination for a while, but it's a long process and as nauseous as I was at the beginning of my pregnancy, there was no way I could go and lay for two hours. 
um, while that process was happening. Anyways, um, we're going back to basics. So I'm gonna try this out again. I'm really happy that I have it to fill it in my brows and it is a great drugstore option. The only thing that I've noticed in the past with this um, is even though it's drugstore, so it is more affordable than some higher end brow pencils, it doesn't last me as long as higher end brow pencils. I tend to go through this pretty fast. So that's been the only con, but I do love the color. Like honey brown has been such a good color for me. Uh, and I do really like how this looks when I use it. Then two new things that I have not tried yet are the e.l.f. camo liquid blushes. I've seen these all over. Apparently they're comparable to the Rare Beauty blushes. So we will see. I have not opened up and used them yet, um, but I grabbed them. I'm excited to try them. I got the shade Pinky Promise, which is like a super bright pinky color. Maybe, I don't know. Would we say this has a little coral in it? Eh, I feel like it's just more pink and then i got this like nudie blush shade this is in dusty rose and both of these are like right up my alley i love them for different reasons so i'm excited to open these up and try them out because i haven't yet there's a bunch of different shade options so i I was trying my best to narrow it down to two. I'm like, let's get two, start off with those, see if we like them, see how they wear and all of that before we just go all in and buy almost every single color that felt unnecessary. So I'll report back on those two. And the last beauty find is this body wash. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with it. It smells so good. This is from Method. It's their men's line and this is in Sea and Surf. I opened this up and I smelled this in store and I was just taken to another dimension. I was like, why have I never smelled this before? Why have I never heard of this before? I cannot get enough of the smell. God, it smells so good. It doesn't smell like a cheesy or like cheapy, like ocean type scent either it smells like a very sexy elevated man it's kind of giving like abercrombie or hollister in the best way i can't get enough of it so chris was with me when i was browsing and i smelled this and i told him i was like i'm getting this it's for you but i'm gonna use it too um so he didn't really have a say but luckily he likes it i'm just absolutely obsessed with this i cannot get enough of the scent if they had a body spray i would use it i would spray it all over myself i love scents like these anyways this is the first thing i've ever bought or purchased from this brand but i can tell you my shower will never be without this my one random find is really this jewelry box or travel like jewelry case i thought it was very cute and honestly i needed to upgrade to something i just have like a tiny little small one and i've had it for years so it's starting like the lining inside is starting to fall <laughs> out uh, but i loved the raffia on this it felt very summery and I love the look and this is multi-layered which I liked too. Oh, I just zipped it back up So this is the top which I loved all the compartments all the space um, Has a place for necklaces. I like this little pouch here spot for rings or earrings This little compartment you could really put anything and then a larger one too So I felt like this would hold all of my jewelry perfectly. I don't have like I don't I don't think anyways an insane amount of jewelry just because I tend to wear the same pieces over and over again but I have like you know a decent amount and then this compartment down here has this large pocket which I liked and then this uh little earring holder set which I thought was genius I liked that a lot so honestly I kind of plan to use this dual purpose um I will probably store my jewelry in here just as is i have like a little jewelry dish i put some of my rings and like my earrings that i wear daily in but some of my other pieces i'll probably just keep in here it'll be easy to store and then when i go to travel this will be really really nice to have too and this was twenty dollars it comes in a couple different um colors and styles and stuff but this one just resonated with me most and i think there is like a a smaller size of this too but this size i felt like was just perfect and then uh the rest of the items that i have are cute little baby finds that i picked up 
The first thing that caught my eye was this set. I thought it was precious. I love the shade of blue, loved the blue and white stripe together. And then I don't normally like what I would consider to be cheesy type things for baby, but I thought the koalas on the feet were really cute. Like that was precious. So um, I had to grab this and it comes with a little hat. I just thought this would be so perfect for him. Um, this is a three month size. I have been conflicted with what to buy clothing wise. Like I know he's gonna be in so many PJs and onesies and things. So I don't really have a lot of outfit outfits. I have maybe three total. Um, but most everything that I've bought so far is like zero to three month range. So that's what I've been kind of sticking to just so I have stuff for him now. And then I figured I can get what he needs as time goes because I have no idea what size he's going to be. Um, I did just place an order off topic for some newborn sizes because I literally had two things and figured I might as well have a few more on hand just in case. So anyways, I know a lot of you are moms. If you have any suggestions of like how to shop or what you would do if you were in my shoes again definitely let me know but yeah this is a little set with pants top hat three month size and it was eleven dollars we love that and it's carter's i've really liked um carter's stuff for a baby. I have quite a few things that I've ordered from them. Some of their stuff is like definitely on the cheesy, like heavily colorful printed stuff, but then they have like, like more muted colors, but still really cute. And I don't know, just more my style. I promise I'm not going like sad beige mom on my child. I, I'm not judging anybody for it, but I won't do that. Uh, but I do like, you know, these soft calming blue tones. I like greens, things like that. So that was cute. And then I grabbed this set, which, oh my God, this material is so freaking soft. These are from Cloud Island and this is in a zero to three month. Um, they're little onesies. These don't have like built in footies on them, socks. I can't think of the word that I'm trying to pull from my mind. Pregnancy brain is real, you guys. Um, but it's still a onesie I can put little socks on him and it is a two-way zip, which so many of you had recommended to me. I've been told over and over and over again how crucial it is to get some two-way zip onesies. So any onesie that I have grabbed, I've tried to make sure it's two-way zip just for my own convenience. Um, but the material of these is so soft. Like I would put this on my body if it was my size, but I loved the dark navy blue. I thought that was really cute. And then it came with the second onesie, same exact style. This one is just, you know, different colors, has little stars on it. I thought that was minimal. That was cute. I liked that. Uh, but I think like previously I've also grabbed another set of onesies from this brand in this material and I love them. They didn't have a lot of prints and colors and such. Otherwise I, I would have gotten more honestly. Uh, but this two pack was $15. And then this was the last little set that I picked up for baby. Um, this is from Cloud Island as well, but this isn't a ribbed material. These do have the little feet on them. Um, and they have like the built-in mittens on the sleeve, which is nice so they don't scratch their face. This material is definitely not nearly anywhere close to as soft as the last one, but it's still nice and I like these and I've heard good things about them. And these have the two-way zip and I liked the colors, this soft blue and then this nice green I thought was fun. Um, and I also grabbed this in zero to three months. So I have pretty much all of the outfits that I have so far are things like this for him. And then like I mentioned, I have maybe three actual like outfits for him. Um, but if you have any other recommendations of like brands that you love, especially if there's cute stuff for baby boys, let me know. I think everything I've gotten so far has been Target, Old Navy, and Carter's. So I'm always in the market for more suggestions and places to shop.
All right, well, that is everything that I picked up from Target, so I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this latest haul. Definitely more to come because I can't stop myself from either going in store or just browsing online. And magically, I have orders that just show up for bags that find their way into my car. But I have everything linked down below. Love you guys so, so much, and until next time. Oh, you